Today I'm going to summarize an American adventure survival film called Alaska released in 1996. First, there is a scene of a plane flying through the mountains of Alaska. This plane was piloted by Jake Barnes. Next, there is a baby polar bear and his mother. And two hunters watch these polar bears. Although hunting polar bears are illegal in Alaska they shoot at the mother polar bear. One of the hunters is Colin Perry and the other one is Kuntz. The next scene shows two children riding boats. They are Jesse and Chip, and Jesse is Jake's daughter. Jesse and Chip have a boat race to the beach. After they came to the beach Jesse said it was late and she went home to get a radio call to Jake. When Jake gives details from the airplane to Jesse, she observes the map and said him he is near the Devil's Thumb Mountains. Jake asks Jesse where is her brother and she said he went out. His name is Sean. He is playing video games in Ben's shop. Ben is a nature lover of an ancient tribe in Alaska. Sean doesn't pay much attention to Ben's stories. Sean doesn't like Alaska as much as Jesse. Tired of these stories, Sean comes out of the shop and kicks a trash can. A police officer saw it and took Sean to the police station. Meanwhile Jake returns. After giving police instructions Sean is sent away with Jake. Jake is a former pilot. Now, he delivers toilet paper to the mountains. Sean is not too keen on this. Then, while they are eating, Sean and Jake have a fight. They had come to Alaska after Sean and Jesse's mother passed away. After this fight, Sean goes to the room and closes the door. Then shows two hunters bringing the dead polar bear skin and the cub. They are going to sell the cub. Jake returns to his job on the plane. But the weather is not that good, there is mist and rain. Although Jesse called by radio answers are not clear. While Jake was piloting the plane through the fog in the mountains, he couldn't control it and it crashed into the mountains. Sean sends radio messages but no replies. The next day, Sean and Jesse go to the police and report it, and they send an air team to find Jake. But they couldn't find Jake in the mountains. Jake can't get off the mountain with a broken leg and stays on the plane. Then Sean decides to find Jake on his own. Jesse also joins this journey. They go on this journey in a boat. On the way, the boat capsizes. Then they arrive at a nearby island. Then they see the hunter's helicopter and they go to ask from hunters if they saw their father's plane. Then they find the polar bear's skin. They get scared and leave. And Sean takes a lighter from there. And they hear cub sound. Then they release the cub and tell him to go forest, but the cub follows them. Then they get scared and run away by boat. Just then the cub saw two hunters coming and it went to the forest. Then hunters are looking for the cub because it is not in the cage. At night, Sean and Jesse make a campfire while they are eating the cub comes and eat their food. Suddenly the cub hides because the hunters are coming. They talk friendly and see the lighter that Sean brought and they understand that Sean is the one who freed the cub. But the hunters leave there. Meanwhile, Jake is trying to get a radio call. But it doesn't work. In the morning, Sean and Jesse climb the mountain, and the cub comes after them without them noticing. Meanwhile, police officer Charlie comes to meet Sean and Jesse. But after seeing the mountain climbing equipment he realized that they went to find Jake. Then Charlie takes off in a helicopter to find them. Hunters find Sean and Jesse's boat. Hunters saw the cub's footprints near their footprints hunters realize that the cub is after them. Police officer Charlie comes there by helicopter. The hunters hide the boat quickly and break off a piece from the oar and put it in their boat. The hunters hide their guns in the boat and take a camera when Charlie comes there. Charlie shows a picture and asks the hunters about Sean and Jesse. Colin says they didn't see them and shows the piece of oar and tricks Charlie into thinking it was found somewhere else. Jesse and Sean descend a mountain. Jesse goes down first and tells Sean to come. Just then the cub comes and slides down the snow. After watching this, Sean starts to go down and Sean's leg gets tangled and slips down. Then he hits his head on a rock and loses consciousness. When the cub licks Sean, he awakes. They start going again. In the forest there is an abandoned house. Here they stay that night. The next day they find a boat from this house. They go along the river and the cub swims after them. Here, Sean calls him Cubby. After swimming, Cubby follows them along the bank. There is a scene Jake is in the airplane. This plane is stuck on the edge of the mountain. A picture of Jake's family is blowing in the wind. As Jake struggles to grab hold of it, the plane on the side of the mountain falls down. 
Anyway, the plane got stuck in the rock and stopped falling. Jake fell out of the plane and survived by hanging on to the plane. Somehow, Jake manages to get inside the plane. As Sean and Jesse go by boat, the force of the waves increases and they come across a waterfall a short distance away. At the waterfall, these two somehow capsize the boat and fall into the water. They started drifting in the water. Sean grabs a trunk and pulls Jesse up on that trunk. But the branch that Sean was holding broke and he started drifting in the water again. Sean tried to catch the river bank but couldn't catch the river bank. After being hit like this, Sean somehow managed to get up by holding a rock on the bank, but it was difficult for him to come ashore due to the strong tide of the river. While holding hands like this, it is shown that someone is reaching out to Sean. That is Ben. He pulls Sean aboard. There is Ben, Ben's son and grandson Chip. Chip's father is going to send Sean and Jesse to the city. The next day Sean and Jesse going to find Jake with the help of Chip and Ben. Seeing the bear cub here, Ben tells Sean to trust the bear cub. After that, these two start the journey again with Cubby. Meanwhile, Charlie, who is going to find Jesse and Sean, sees the hunter's place. He looked at the tents there and suspected that the two men he met earlier were lying to him and started walking towards the mountains. Cubby starts to go another way while going. When Sean says let's go after Cubby, Jesse says, Jake don't go that way and we'll see devil's thumb. But Sean goes after Cubby on believing Cubby. While going to the top of the mountain, Colin and Koontz come there by helicopter and shoot Cubby to make him sleep and catch him. Sean and Jesse had nothing to do here. Cubby awakes on the way because the dose was low. Then, Cubby jumps on Colin's body and bites him. Koontz then lowers the helicopter to the ground. Colin throws the Cubby aside and goes to shoot the Cubby. But the Cubby runs and bites Colin's leg. The gun in Colin's hand hits Koontz. The gun in Koontz's hand hit the control panel of the helicopter and it was destroyed. Koontz loses consciousness after being shot. Meanwhile, Cubby escapes from here. Meanwhile, Sean and Jesse continue to move forward and find a broken piece of Jake's plane. From there, these two are calling Jake and shouting. Hearing this, Jake shoots the sky using a flare gun. Seeing this, Sean and Jesse run towards him happily because that he is alive. Sean goes to the plane with the help of the mountain climbing equipment he brought. He goes down the mountain to the plane. The plane that was stuck in the back wing start to fall slowly as Sean goes. As Jake attaches the rope to himself, the plane crashes into the cliff and breaks apart. Sean climbs up while Jake hangs. While going up a little, the rope gets loose from the rock and falls down a little. Jesse catches the rope and stops falling. But because Jesse can't hold the weight of both Sean and Jake, Jesse is also pulled down. While these three people are screaming, suddenly they stop pulling down. Cubby pulls the rope from his mouth. After that, Sean comes up along the rope and these three pull Jake up. Sean is apologizing to Jake for the quarrel earlier. When these guys were in the mountain, Charlie came by helicopter. He saw these people and came to pick them up happily. Finally, these people bring Cubby to a place where the polar bears are. Jesse and Sean say goodbye to Cubby sadly. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on a notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.